In this video, we'll continue what we learned in the previous tutorial to modify the silhouettes into glowing outlines using the stroke effect. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count. To create the outline effect, we'll work off the silhouette layer that we created in the previous tutorial. Head over to Silhouette, let's make a copy, Control D or Command D, and let's rename it to Outline. And what I'll do, amigos, is let's change the color to yellow so we know that it's different from the silhouette. Now, what we want to do is reset any properties that we modified and delete any effects. Hit P for Position. Click on the stopwatch to delete all the keyframes. Right click, go to reset to reset the position values. Let's go to the blending mode, switch it back to normal and head over to the effect controls window and let's delete the fill. Let's go down to the out point. Let's drag the edge and let's move the CTI to 1515 15, and let's trim the in point. Alt left bracket or option left bracket for the in point. And now let's add the outline. Go to effect. Let's go to generate and let's go all the way down to the stroke effect. Now for path, we only have one mask. So mask one is perfect. Let's go to the brush size. Let's make it five. And for the brush hardness, make it 100%. And for the paint style, let's switch it to on transparent and let's check it out. Okay, it needs the glow effect. So what we'll do is let's go to the text, go to the glow and let's copy the glow effect. Control C or Command C to copy this effect. Go back to the outline, Control V or Command V to paste it. And what I'll do is let's change the glow colors. And let's move the CTI to 16. And at 16, let's make a copy of this outline. Control D, Command D. Let's place it underneath the first one. Hit S for scale. And let's scale it up to 115. And notice that the width is a little too thick. Let's dial it down. Go to the brush size and let's make it three. And let's change the glow colors. And let's trim the in point for outline to alt left bracket option left bracket for the in point. And let's move the CTI to 1610. Let's make one more copy, place it underneath the second one, trim the in point, hit S for scale, make it 140. And let's go ahead and change the glow colors to yellow. And that's it. Let's check it out, amigos. This concludes Adobe's Learn From The Pros series. I truly hope that you learned a lot, you enjoyed it, and remember that life is a gift. Make it count.